Good morning, y'all. It's a brand new day. Another busy day. We on the move again today. On the move with my little crew. You over here stuffing his face with a banana. <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? I Isaac over here stressing out low key. <laughs> Are you stressed? Don't want your pacifier. It's a brand new day and let's get to it. I'm starving right now. So I'm finna cook me some. Well, I ain't finna cook nothing. I'm finna heat me up some oatmeal or boil me some water for some oatmeal. And get this day started. I'm excited, it's a new day. I'm I'm kinda sad today. Cause Isaac, uh, Isaac gotta get his two month shot. So <sighs> I'm never ready for shots. I, I think it, it hurts me more than it hurts the kids. Cause I'm just, I'm not ready. I'm not ready mentally, but we're going to go ahead and get it done. And oh. Get him shots and them chunky legs. <laughs> Look at Alexander peeking. You, he was just knocked out. Are you woke and peeking at me? He like, what is going on? Imagine just waking up facing a wall. Like, what? Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Al, hi. You woke. He trying to get out. All right, let me get you. All wet, it's raining outside, but this is the kind of day you just wanna go home and go to sleep, but I think we about to hang out though. We gonna hang out? <laughs> so yeah, I think we just go, um, but I think we gonna go ahead and go get some food. I've been um, wanting to go to this Mexican restaurant, so we might go there, chill, have a little mommy son's, <laughs> mommy and son date, so. Yeah, we might do that. Um, he got his shots and now he is not out. Let me show y'all. Look at my sweet boy. Look at my sweet boy. Look at him. Did Bati do good? Huh? You saw Isaac get his shots? Right. <laughs> yeah, Bati got his shots and he screamed, of course. He was howling. He was he was finna punch somebody. He wanted somebody taken out for what they was doing to him. But um, but he did really good though. And now he is asleep. Hopefully he was asleep for a while. Y'all know after they get, what was that just blinking on my dash? But um, yeah. So hopefully he go ahead and stay asleep for a minute and relax. And I got him. Uh, they prescribed him like Tylenol and they gave him some. Let me show y'all this stuff. Hope it works because. Well, it should definitely work, but he has really bad eczema, so they prescribed him. If I can get it out this dang on back. Oh, this is big. They uh, gave him this. What is it? Hy Hydrofor. The Hydrofor ointment. So, hopefully this works for his skin because when I say my baby boy is dry, he's going to eat now. We might just do, I don't know. Where do I want to go? I don't want no fast food, but it would be nice to go to a place that got like a little play thing so Al could play because he needs to stretch his legs and just get out his energy, get out some energy. But um, but the only places that got like the little play things is fast food. So I I want to go to Chick Fil A, but I ain't got time for that 20 25 minute drive. I just don't have time. I'm trying to stay within you know 10 minutes around me. So we might just go ahead and go to the little Mexican restaurant. Cause I actually got a, I got a taste for some Mexican, for a Mexican dish. <laughs> we might go to IHOP. Cause Al is not gonna eat nothing at this Mexican place, y'all. He is so picky, like the toddler pickiness is real. He is super picky. He would, he just, oh my god, he is horrible. I don't really eat a lot of stuff, so I'm thinking IHOP might be a better choice for us because he's so picky and yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Once I start driving, I'll make my mind up. And y'all see once we get there. 
where we gonna where we gonna be where we going so i look all glowy fied and stuff but yeah i'm still figuring this camera out like figuring out all the settings and i feel like i had it on the wrong setting for me for my skin tone and stuff <laughs> So we end up coming on home. I done took my poop down, everything. It just started raining real bad outside and Isaac was crying. So we just came on home so he could lay down. Oh, poor baby. Mm -hmm. Poor thing. Hi, baby. Don't mind my living room. My living room is a mess. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's such a sweet boy. I love you. Yeah, I just put a pizza in the oven, so we're just gonna wait for that to get done and chill. And I done got so sleepy. Like, that rain is no joke. I swear, every time it rains outside, I get sleepy. It's hick. So I closed my eyes and I almost just fell asleep on the couch. And I'm glad I didn't because I had the oven on. But I'm about to take a nap though after I eat because I am so tired. And look like Al wanna take the nap too. You didn't get to finish your nap earlier my chips we need to eat some food we over here snacking hey it is what it is right now i have to go to that mexican restaurant i go later once dad gets off work because we both been saying because we've been saying we want to go there go there and eat so we'll see but for now it's pizza and chill i'm about to watch power i'm letting him watch his little show right now oh, little baby bum he watches every day he does not miss a day, like every day. Watch the same little baby bum show. <laughs> but I'm gonna let him watch this for a minute, then I'm turning it on power. I done binge watch this show like crazy. I just started watching this with, it had to be like last week. I started off, yeah, I just started like last week. I'm already on season three. It's real, it's a crazy show, like real. It's real crazy, so I'm getting caught up. And I'm probably gonna watch that and chill for a little bit. I love being home. I guess anybody else just, I, I feel like I'm a homebody. I don't know, I'm half and half. I'm a good balance because I like going out, you know what I'm saying? I just like, I like getting out the house. But at the same time, I just love home. I love just chilling on the couch, eating a little chip. I just love being at home. And some more chips. Look at this shears knit. Now the sun wanna come out. Now I want to clear up when we get in the house. <laughs> clock. A clock. Twelve o'clock. <laughs> this Al song. Get out of the cabinet. Points to. I know, but you can't go in there. There's dangerous stuff in there. We got to get some of them um, safety things. I'm going to get them today while I'm thinking about it. The um, thing, the safety proof. Y'all know what I'm saying? The little cabinet things. I hear they got him at Walmart, so I'm trying to find something because he is always in this thing. And one time he um got under here and somehow disconnected the dishwasher cord. And I called maintenance and everything. They came out and the cord was unplugged. Because of Al. Unplugging stuff. <laughs> can't go under there. It's soap. Soap under there and cleaner. You can't go under there. No. You might touch something you're not supposed to. Hey, one, two, fuck on my shoe. This is my song right here. Five, six, pick a stick, seven, eight. <laughs> you like, oh, we gotta get in here. This is the song, my. One, two, fuck on my shoe. Three, four, open the door. Five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight. Let's go straight. Nine, ten. Hey, thank you. What you want me to record you or something? You handing me my phone. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, fuck on my shoe. Three, four, open the door. Five, six, pick up six. Shoe, three, four, open the door. Five, six, pick up six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You silly. Wow. Oh, you like this one too.
Sing it, baby. Mm -hmm. So here's our super healthy meal for today. <laughs> a oven pizza featuring a side of healthy applesauce. Ooh, y'all. Fit is lit, okay? Okay, y'all, like, about my health red meat dilemma. I was supposed to be saying that we're from red meat. And I was doing real good. But, but I don't know, that pork, that pork just be creeping back up on me. And that's the one thing I really don't want in my body. And I, I just continue to eat it. But, I'm gonna get it together one day. Because I just wanna, I feel better. Like, when I went through that period, Without eating red meat, I just felt better. My body felt lighter. It just felt healthier. I felt healthier, but now that I'm back eating it, I feel like, ugh. But <laughs> I need to get it together, y'all. I need to get it together. I was doing so good, too. Like, we was buying turkey bacon and everything. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where we just bought, you know, pork bacon again. And it was so crispy and it was so good. And I was just like, <sighs> I'm so salty. And I just. I loved it. I enjoyed every bite, every bite of that pork bacon. It was, ooh, y'all know when it just be that little crispy. You can't get that with no turkey bacon. You just, it just tastes so good. Just, ooh, and then it be salty. Got that, you know, you know, pigs is a little salty. It be nice and salty. It just, it's horrible. It's so good. I can do without pepperonis though. So I'm probably gonna take my pepperonis off my pizza and give them to Al because he loves pepperonis. That's like when he eats pizza, he'll take off his pepperonis and eat the pepperonis first. So I actually started doing like um I don't know if it's vegan. I don't think it's vegan. I don't, I really don't even know the real definition of vegan, but like vegetarian, I guess. Like no meat. I've been doing like because I want to try to transition myself into. I mean, even if it's not no meat, because I do still like some meats, like fish and crab legs. I don't think I could ever give up give up crab legs. So honestly, I don't think I could ever become vegan or vegetarian. But um, just I just want to start doing like healthier choices. So I start what I started doing, and I got this from my girl. I got this from Terica Davis. Go check out her channel, y'all. She is just I love her channel. But through her Instagram, she was just giving me like some advice about going vegan, even though I probably won't go vegan. But she was just um, telling me like it's hard, but start off with like a few vegan meals, a few vegan or vegetarian meals a week, and it gets easier. So that's what I started doing just to incorporate like more healthy alternatives into my diet like when I made my um bean burgers mm-hmm uh-huh I'll do that maybe once or twice every week doing like a no meat type of meal so this week I had my bean burgers and y'all them was life La -ha 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 -ha. Hype. okay I'm hyping these burgers up because they was just that hype okay like these burgers was just they, they taste better than like beef patty. They taste better than that. They just, oh my God, it was so good. So um yeah, I made my bean burgers this week. Last week I had um, a veggie pizza and that was my first time making a veggie pizza and it was so good. I'll try to insert a picture here, but let me know if that's something that y'all wanna see. Like um no meat meals that just, oh my God, so good. I'm, I'm still thinking about that veggie pizza, y'all. That was bomb. The first time I did accidentally like burn the bottom a little bit, but the second time I made it, it was just, oh my God, like give me another one of these. So yeah, y'all let me know if that's something y'all wanna see, like how I make my um no meat meals. And I'm gonna start doing them like, like I said, once or twice a week or even just once a week, just to, you know, start dipping to a more healthy lifestyle because man, your body will let you know when it's tired of something, your body is gonna let you know they no, you need to you need to do something different. You need to change this up, and that's what I feel like my body is letting me know. I don't even really want to eat this pizza no more. Now that I'm thinking about, <laughs> look, y'all done talked myself. Now that I'm thinking about that, the vegetarian dishes I made, yo, I don't even hardly want to eat this pizza no more. I'm just looking at it like, but I'm talking too much, y'all. Let me just go ahead and eat and chill, and I will talk to y'all later. Pizza. Pizza. You got your own pizza. He always do that. Pizza. That's your pizza, yes. No, pizza. This is Ooh. my pizza. That's your pizza. Mine. No, this is mine. My, oh, mine. No, this is my pizza. That's your pizza. Ooh, pizza. 
pizza. Yeah, pizza. pizza. <laughs> Yes, pizza. That's your pizza. pizza. That's mommy's pizza. Mama. Yeah, mama. Mama, daddy. Yeah, daddy at work. Daddy. He's so smart. He always points to our pictures too and go, Mama and Daddy. <laughs> Those pictures. And Mama and Daddy. We still gotta get some some new family pictures with. This new edition. Daddy? Al, would you eat your food, please? Eat. Eat, eat. Yum. Uh-oh. Boy. <laughs> Why? Look, eating your pepperonis. It's good? <laughs> So cute. So amazing watching him develop and get older and he's starting to use his words more. Like it's just so beautiful watching him grow up. And y'all, this little boy will be two on Friday! Can you believe it? You're gonna be a two-year-old. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> you so funny. He crack us up. I can't believe he is gonna be a two year old in two days. Like what? I'm not I'm not even prepared to say like I have a two year old. I'm just not prepared. Like what? You about to be two. How did you how did you do this? How did you get to be two? Huh? Right. Look at him eating his pepperonis. He probably just gonna take all the pepperonis off. Like he always do. Huh? You talking? Are you using your words? You got your water. Girl, your cup. Say thank you. You're not gonna say thank you? Oh, he a trip, y'all. But dude, he's really about to be two. Look at him. Look like he's sagging. Them pants is a little big on them. But it look like my baby is over there sagging. Thugged out. Nah. <laughs> I just can't believe he is about to be two. Oh my God. His dance moves are so funny. Oh, you give me a pepperoni? I would not like a pepperoni. Here you go. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. You can have it. Here. 